What's up guys, how are you today? Finally, I've got a chance to ride the new 1290 Adventure R. This actually guys is going to be my last review of the the best adventure motorcycle series. Probably I will do another one but with the middleweight adventure motorcycles. So I think this uh, orange beast now uh, deserve this destiny to be the last one and I'm guessing it's going to be the best one from all adventure motorcycles I have reviewed until this moment. Okay, uh, let's start with the overlook. What we have? We have very nice and uh, capable to do almost anything bike. We have 21 inch front wheel we have 18 on the back, perfect for off-road riding. We have 1300cc with 160 horsepower. It's a real, real powerful motorcycle. It has two double discs, 320 millimeter and Brembo caliber. Excellent, excellent brakes. Uh, of course, it's coming with WP suspension, fully adjustable, manually adjustable from the here. So from, from the left side, you can adjust the compression and from the right side from this red screw here you can adjust the ribbon and of course with a nice shock you can preload it from here so this is the standard from KTM I really like the colors and I really like like this uh, engine crash protectors uh, the skid plate is small from plastic so if you plan a serious off-road you have to change it but at least it has something the pegs are nice nice size if you remove the rubber cushion on the top they will be nice for off-road riding the petrol tank is 23 liters which is nice right from the shop it's coming with a Kopovich muffler which is very nice let's test the sound Of course. The new design, it's how I have to say, it's hard to accept it now. But anyway, maybe because it's just coming and it's strange to, to realize everything. But I'm gonna tell you guys, when the new Dakar motorcycles release the new 450 Dakar rally I really don't like this this sharp peak here but now I really love it so uh, maybe this is a matter of time to start to accept the new design but anything else is just so nice and well designed handguards from plastic easy to be replaced it has this very useful passenger handles here so the passenger could uh, grab it and feels safer the weight weight of that motorcycle is 240 kilograms and this is the lighter motorcycle in this category I mean the heavy adventure motorcycles the seat is really nice I like this finishing cover it's not sliding here and I like this orange stitches around I hope it's going to be comfortable. Let's check the ergonomics. I told you millions of times, but I'm gonna tell you again. I'm 185 or a little above six foot, and handlebar position for me is perfect. I have both of my feet on the ground, but it is not that low motorcycle. If you are under 180. I will advise to look for different options, maybe the, the T-model or, or the options to lower it down because yeah, I have my feet on the ground but they are just, just about. So as I said, the handlebar position is excellent. The mirrors are very good, I told you last time when the 1090 Adventure, KTM really designed a nice mirrors. Clutch is uh, with hydraulic pump Magura, very nice very soft really really useful especially when you have to 
change so many so many gears let's have a look at the dashboard it has this new design looks like a tablet very solid it's not looks like fragile gadget here so we have the uh, the refs on the right hand side we have a, a small gauge for petrol and for temperature and here we can see on which mode we are riding at the moment and in the middle is the speed we have a digital clock and outside temperature from that buttons here you can play with the menu and uh, i'm not gonna wasting your time it's so long but i can show you just uh, if you press this you, you can change between different riding modes it has uh, a sport it has street it has rain and off-road i'm gonna leave it on street now and probably later we'll change the different settings it has also cruise control the button is is here and uh, nothing more no heated grips no any other extras i think this motorcycle is for riding not really for watching one very useful thing here is this small pocket in this pocket you can actually you can store your telephone your smart telephone very nice very nice the windscreen design mm, i don't really like it and i think it's not going to be good enough so this is the higher position and this is the lower position we're gonna leave it now on, on higher position and we'll see how it's going to work okay guys that was pretty much everything let's go to Raiden let's make some maneuvers For such a heavy bike, it's not a problem to make maneuvers. Once you start it, the weight is not a problem. Good. I really expect that from KTM. I don't know how they really uh, reach to that point to have this heavy motorcycle, but easy to maneuvers. But it's really nice. I love it. Actually. I, I, I feel it lighter than my motorcycle and my motorcycle is about 190 kilograms now after all the changes I made okay good so this is my first impression it's nice let's go to right on the street Riding position is very good, as I told you, it's with perfectly for me. The handlebar is on the right position, the mirrors are really nice. Wow, it is so powerful, man, this is like a rocket. You really feel that you're riding. Wow, that was impressive. The gear shifter is on the perfect position for me. It's very easy to find the gears. I have some problems to find the neutral in the beginning, but uh, I'm guessing because the, the engine was still not warm and it was difficult, but uh, after that everything worked perfectly. Suspension is, is stiff, exactly what I like. Handling is perfect. It's a so well balanced motorcycle. Let's check the standing position. The standing position is almost perfect for me. The tank and the seat provide this nice surface to grab it with my knees and hold the motorcycle. I really love this Akropovich muffler. I still have some troubles to find exactly the neutral. 
Yeah, I found it finally. But yes, guys, finding the neutral it's a bit tricky. The suspension, guys, is just perfect. It is stiff enough. It handles absolutely perfect. I love it. Such a pleasure to ride it, guys. I want to make just one more test on the highway. Uh, I really want to, to see how this windscreen is going. Very nice for city riding. Not a problem to do maneuvers between the cars. It is not a white motorcycle and the mirrors are high. So, yes, good. So guys, the promotional video of KTM set ready to race. I can confirm that this motorcycle is ready to race. Of course, excellent performance on the highway, but the windscreen it's not good at all. It needs to be changed with at least 10 centimeters higher to provide enough wind protection for me, guys. Highway performance, I don't think I have to tell you something, guys. Just look at yourself. Okay, it was such a nice ride guys Let's summarize everything What we have we have KTM 1290 Adventure R Absolutely perfect machine. I love everything on it. It has 21 inch front 18 on the rear side of course spoke wheels It has so powerful engine. It has absolutely perfect Adjustable suspension, WP. The seat is really nice, guys. For two hours, I felt it absolutely perfect. The handling is great. It has absolutely amazing style. The finishing quality, it's, it's a really nice. Actually, it is great. It's coming with Akropovich exhaust, which is fantastic. Guys, I can tell you only, only positive things. Even that this motorcycle is 240 kilograms, once you start to ride it, you cannot feel it at all. There is one big cons, guys, and, and this is the price. This model, Adventure R model, or Super Adventure R model, starts from 17,000 euros. So this is a far, far more than I can afford to pay for adventure motorcycle but anyway if i skip this it's just excellent motorcycle just keep in mind guys that uh, if you have a plus to ride off-road with this motorcycle it's still a really heavy motorcycle i will say that everything above 160 kilograms it's a real challenge to ride off-road and this motorcycle is 240. to ride this off-road you should have at least two or three years a real off-road experience. When I say it, real off-road experience, I'm not talking about gravel roads or backyard roads. I'm talking about real off-road experience with light off-road bikes, something like 100 or 120 kilograms. If you have this experience, you will have the base how to ride off-road. So that was all from me, guys. I hope you like it. Thank you very much. And with this, Overview, I will finish the series The Best Adventure Motorcycles. See you next time. Ciao.